What's going on guys and welcome to my first unboxing and what a better way to start it off than with the Nintendo Switch. Now, I just got home from the midnight release and I'm dying to rip into this thing. So here's the front of the box, you can see the neon Joy-Con in the Joy-Con grip and the dock with the Switch. If you look at the side, see some of the different combinations that you can do. And the back, you're going to have Switch and Tablet mode. And on the other side, I think it's the same pictures on this side that were on the other side. The top has a Nintendo logo, and the bottom has my information on it, as well as my serial number and stuff like that. And there you have it. The Neon Joy-Con and the tablet controller itself. Now first... See the tablet. It's crazy to actually be holding a Nintendo Switch with my hands. This is the console. Very small. Now, if you look, I have the uh, iPhone 6S Plus. It's really about the same height, but it's a little bit wider. And I'll show you on this angle. So this is the 6S Plus against the Nintendo Switch. Not too much of a difference. Very compact. And then we have the Joy-Con, and wow. People said these look better in person, and... I can't believe how much brighter these are to the actual human eye than they look in a picture. I don't even think this video is going to do this justice. Um, you got the right with the red and the blue with the left. These are actually a little bit bigger than I thought they were going to be, to be honest. This actually fits perfectly in my hand. Let's pop these out of the plastic. And wow, the color really does look amazing on these. It's incredible. I'm very glad I got the neon over the gray. This is a lot better than I thought it would be. Buttons seem nice. I'm actually impressed by these. These are, these are a lot more comfortable than I thought they would be. So let's get into the rest of it. Those are the Joy-Con. And then lift this up. Is there anything in here? Nothing in there. Okay, here we're gonna have one of the wrist straps. We have a Nintendo Switch manual. up the other wrist strap right here just like the other one I believe they're exactly the same because they have the plus and the minus on either side then we have the Joy-Con grip it actually feels pretty comfortable even without the uh, without the controllers in them I can see this being a very comfortable controller we get more into this when I uh, hook the Joy-Cons up to it and then, of course, we have the HDMI, power supply, put that over here for now, some of this plastic stuff back in the box, and it looks like the last thing we're going to have is the dock. The dock is actually smaller than it looks. Wrap in bubble wrap, and then inside of styrofoam bag. So you see the back flips open, and you plug in the AC adapter here, USB uh, for charging, and HDMI out. And I kind of like how it routes the cables out to the side. 
So if you see, there's a notch here if you want to route the cables out the back. And then there's a notch on the side if you want to route them that way. I'm probably going to be routing them out the back because I don't really want the cables coming out of the side. You have two USBs. Little rubber feet grips. And it seems like there is rubber feet to keep the switch from maybe getting scratched against the plastic. And I'm not sure if you could see inside, but there's the connector. Here's the kickstand. I really don't like that. That is that is weird. So you see the kickstand, stands it up just like that. Alright. That's not a good first impression. This is, you know, people said the kickstand wasn't that good, and I thought, uh, I'm sure it'll be fine, but that's really, it's really not good. Maybe it's because it's on the soft surface, but, I mean, it's really not too secure. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be using the, the dock. So, we have the tablet itself, and this will be our first time sliding the Joy-Con into the tablet. And there we have it, Nintendo Switch. So it looks like from the back. It's very thin, it's thinner than I thought it would be. Let's see how it pops into the dock. I guess it's in. It actually just wants in. So let's see how easy it is to remove the Joy-Con. It does require some force. I really wish the first time the system didn't come on and wasn't plugged into a damn dock. But... I guess I have no choice to set this up now, so I guess you guys can kind of see what the setup's going to be like. This is a lot cooler than I thought it would be. Um, I'll do this later. So you can still use these buttons, I'll call the C buttons, for a D-pad. And today is obviously March 3rd. One forty-six. And connect to a TV later. It's not as smooth as I thought it would be. It's a bit, a bit odd. Use the left stick, select next, then press A on the right controller. I preferred to have them connected, so why would you tell me to take them off? If you wanted to play how I prefer, but that's weird. Set your icon and nickname. I guess with Breath of the Wild, I'm going to go with Breath of the Wild Link, just for now. And I'm going to change the background from the red to... Oh, the blue. <laughs> now I'll ask for a nickname if you're not going to let me use more than 10 characters. Especially when we had to create user IDs, and then we have Nintendo Network IDs, and apparently we still have friend codes, so... I'm not sure what they're doing with this thing. That. Skip that. Nope, wrong button. 
And I'm gonna go with these are tablet mode. And it does make the switch sound uh, when you plug them in. Which is pretty cool. So I guess let's check the news. Latest news direct here from the switch. Playing the big screen. So I'm sure you guys seen the UI and everything already, so I'm just going to put this into the dock, see how it docks again. It does guide it in, although it doesn't really feel like it's letting me know when it's fully seated. I don't know. The HD rumble, actually, I just felt that, so it's the first time sliding the controllers into the Joy-Con. Let's see. First impressions of this, it's actually pretty comfortable. No, it's undocked console. So that is the Joy-Con and the Joy-Con grip. You can see that neon really pops, and I don't think it's going to come through on the camera, but wow. As far as the controller setup, I'm not sure how fond I am of it like this. Um, it seems alright. But let's pop these out. And pop the rails on. Now, I heard if you put the rails on wrong, it's a little bit annoying to get off. Um, people also were having problems putting the rails on, so let's just make sure I'm doing it right the first time. I'll be honest, none of this is as smooth as I thought it was going to be. It's Plastic rails probably would have been better if they were metal. Okay, so these are fully seated. And wow, that actually really does, it completes the controller. So here we have the Joy-Con with the Joy-Con grips. And it really just feels more substantial. Now let's see how it is holding it like this. The stick is pretty close to the buttons. I can see that maybe being a problem if you have to go hit this button and go right at the same time, which is basically any platformer. Um, it's not uncomfortable. It doesn't seem like I'd have a problem with hands cramping up, especially with the rail here. Um, it really does kind of fill out the controller and make it a complete controller. Um, definitely a good idea. And let's see what we got here because it's a little bit different. So pretty much the same thing, um, just to the right rather than to the left. And yeah, there's a Joy-Con in the, the Joy-Con by themselves. There's the right one, there's the left one, and it's pretty comfortable, to be honest. So let's pop these off. And the one thing they don't really tell you is when you're taking this stuff off, you're, you're hitting all the buttons, you're hitting the, the stick. Yeah, this really isn't as smooth as I thought it would be. I don't know if it's a problem with the manufacturing or just how it's going to be, but this does not really slide on to here very well. And taking it off was harder than getting on. Let's see this side. So I did put it, if you can see, I did put it the right way. I have the plus matched up with the plus and the minus back here. So the release. And they slide off, but again. It's not smooth like I thought it was going to be. It's like a hassle to get these things off. It feels like I'm going to break it almost. And I really don't know how much I'm going to be using these if that's how it's going to be. It's, it's kind of annoying. Now, when it's going into the actual handheld itself, it slides perfectly. It's a lot smoother than 
using the Joy-Con grip. Or, I'm sorry, using the, the rails for the Joy-Con. Regardless of the small complaints with the plasticky rails and stuff like that, this is a real marvel of a console and I can't really wait to dig right into this. So, I'm gonna go and play some Zelda. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.